Hello, my favorite artists. Today we are going to be learning about an art movement called Surrealism and an artist named Rene Magritte. Surrealism was an art movement that happened between the 1920s and the 1960s. It was a journey to understand our dreams, our imagination, and to push creativity. Surrealism literally means over or above realism. These artworks are usually described as looking crazy or really funky, interesting. They look like dreams or something that could only appear in our imagination. This artwork is titled The Son of Man, and this is the artwork that inspired what we are going to be doing today. We are going to be making a self-portrait where our face is something that is important to us or something that we like doing. This is the basic steps to do the project, but I'm also going to show you how I did mine. So to get started, I chose a turtle shell to do mine. A turtle shell is something that's in a lot of my artwork, and it's something, it's a symbol or a motif that represents me and who I am. I started off by drawing my turtle shell about the same size as I would draw my face, and I drew it more towards the top of the paper, but not all the way, because we have to draw a hat on there as well. I'm drawing with Sharpie, but you can use marker or oral pastel, whatever you've got. After you finish drawing the item that's going to be covering your face, I'm going to start to draw the body of the portrait. So I'm making kind of curved lines for my neck and then out and around for my shoulders. Then I go from the top of the neck and make two lines that go down into a V shape. And then I'm gonna start adding the details to the jacket. So these are some lines that end up making the lapel of the jacket. It's a line and then kind of a side V shape and then another line down. And then I need to draw my neck, so I'm just gonna do a curved shape kind of right underneath my turtle shell. And then I just go back up and kind of darken some lines and make a few lines thicker to add emphasis and detail. Now I need to start drawing the hat. For the base of the hat, I make a curved shape on the one side and a curved shape on the other side. It ends up kind of looking like an infinity symbol. Now I need to draw the top of my hat. So I go up almost to the top of the paper, out and around to make the hat shape. And then I add kind of a line just to add more details to my hat. Once I have those shapes in, I ended up coloring the bottom of my hat all the way in black. And now I'm just drawing lines that is that would be my face behind the turtle shell. So just two kind of straight lines down. And the last detail I'm adding is a tie under my shirt. And then I chose to color my picture in with crayons, but you can use whatever materials you have at home. And this is what my finished product looks like. I chose to do the turtle shell in my last drawing, but if you would like to do the drawing just like the example, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that now so you can see how that would be done. I drew kind of a circle with a little U-shape at the top, and that's gonna be my paint palette. Now I'm starting to do my little paint splotches, so those are just kind of curvy circles, and I ended up doing about five of those shapes. From here, the drawing is just the same as the last one. So I'm gonna speed up my drawing it so you can see how I did it, but it's just the same as the last one. So you do the body, the neck, the suit and the tie, and then add the hat and the face behind the paint palette.
The one thing that is different about this drawing is I ended up making some long hair behind this since I have long hair. And it is supposed to be a self-portrait. So I ended up adding that hair and then made some lines thicker in different places. And then I colored it. Again, I colored mine with crayons and I will show you a video of me sped up coloring mine. But you use whatever materials you have at home. Once I finished coloring in all the way, I did a watercolor wash on the background for mine, but you can still use crayons or whatever material you were using. And here is what that portrait looks like. I love this project and I cannot wait to see what you guys choose to cover your faces for your surrealist portraits.